A shotgun is a great tool to deliver a pattern of pellets on target. With the advent of various chokes, it is possible to adjust the spread of your pattern by simply screwing in a different insert. With so many different chokes on the market, it can be a bit daunting to know which is the best choke for your application. Success for a hunt begins at the range, and just as you would sight in your hunting rifle, you want to pattern your shotgun. Typically, this is done at 40 yards, which is what we'll be doing today. Chokes not only come in different constrictions, but they also come specific to your make and model of gun. It's important when choosing chokes to check your manual to see what thread pattern your gun uses so that you can purchase the correct choke. We'll be using chokes that are designed for the Benelli Cryo barrels. We also have one choke that is for the Beretta Benelli barrels, and we'll use the Benelli Nova for that one. Once you've determined your thread pattern, you can swap out your chokes to get the best pattern for your application. Typically, a full choke will deliver 70% of the payload into a 30-inch circle at 40 yards. Here's what that looks like. All right, so we're shooting the number one choke so that we can get a, the tightest pattern of all. And we're using some pretty uh, inexpensive ammo. It will give consistent results across the board. It's a number seven and a half shot. Um, so it's, it's more of a trap load, but it gives us consistent results across the board. And for those chokes that you can't shoot steel ammo out of, this is all soft lead. So we'll have the same ammo for every choke that we shoot and we'll get consistent results. Here we go. So that's a lot of pellets off to the left here. I was aiming right about here, knowing that this shotgun shoots a little high for me. And with this light load, I was shooting right about there. But we got a lot onto the left, and we did get some right in, in the duck though. So we're good. All right, let's step it up to the next size. A modified choke is going to allow the pellets to spread out a bit more and will deliver about 60% of your pellets into that same radius. This is a good choice for ducks and geese that are closer in over decoys. This is a number two, so we got our two notches on top there. And you're gonna see this group open up a little bit more. Okay. Same ammo, different choke, and I'm gonna move my point of aim a little right and a little down see if we can move that shot to where we want it to be. Looks like we did. All right, so that first shot we had was with a full choke, and so that was pretty constricted. It kept that group pretty tight. This is a modified choke, so it's gonna open that group up a little bit, and I was aiming right about here to move that down and over to the right. Uh, probably could have come just a little left with it and it would have put it closer in here. But uh, this is what happens with that modified choke. So as we begin to go down in size, those groups will go up. So we'll get higher numbers on our chokes. Those groups will start to get bigger and bigger and bigger. So that full choke was the maximum constriction. That modified choke is medium constriction and we're gonna keep opening that group up. And so what you want to do is as you get closer, you want to open that group up so you have less impact and damage to the meat. If you get farther away, you want to tighten that group and you want to get more pellets as they spread out at a greater distance, it's going to open that group up for you and it's going to still keep a lot of power with it when it gets up there. So this is the modified. Now we're going to go to the improved cylinder. An improved cylinder choke will give you a looser pattern still delivering about 55% of the shot into your 30 inch circle. This is my favorite choke for bunnies on the run. Okay, this is that improved cylinder. Okay, we're gonna go with the improved cylinder now. This is gonna open it up quite a bit. And I'm gonna aim a little bit right and a little bit low. Just a little too far right. I was aiming right about here. I could probably cut that in half, but uh, that's a good pattern right there for 40 yards. That's a that's a good distance, and uh, that's a that's a pretty good pattern for 40 yards. That's gonna get your dead duck right there. All right, let's open it up a little bit more. 
lastly, a cylinder choke will match an unchoked barrel and spread and will deliver around 50% of the pellets on target. This is the choice for many law enforcement agencies and a good choice for home defense. Cylinder bore, it is pretty much the same diameter as the barrel coming down. There's no constriction to it. It's almost a thread protector. All right, this will be our widest pattern with that cylinder bore and I'm gonna split the difference on where I'm aiming. And we should have a big wide pattern with that one. Too far left now. I was aiming right about there. I gotta find, I gotta find a sweet spot right about here. But you can see that that opened that pattern way up. So if I were, had ducks coming in over decoys at 10 to 20 yards, this is what I'd be looking for. A general rule of thumb is that the farther you're shooting, the tighter the pattern you want, so that more pellets are on target. The closer you are, the looser the pattern should be to avoid damaging the meat. With moving targets such as upland birds or waterfowl, a wider choke spreads out your pattern more, increasing your odds of hitting the target. With a tighter choke, you have more payload on target and less spread, so it's good for more stationary targets that take more abuse, like turkey. In addition to the standard chokes, there are specialty chokes designed for certain ammunition or for various kinds of game. This Pattern Master Code Black Choke comes in two variations, one for ducks and one for geese. It is specifically designed for steel or bismuth shot, which is harder than lead and behaves differently. It's designed to deliver 70% more energy on target. Let's see how it shoots. Yeah, you got a little bit of venting on there. Help with recoil. All right, so we're gonna shoot the Pattern Mastered Code Black right now, and they come in two models. They come in duck and goose. I don't know what they are. I don't know if they're modified. I don't know if they're improved cylinder, but we're gonna find out. They're ported, directional ports on the end there. Beautiful chokes. Let's see what they do. I put a red dot up there this time, so I have the name point. So our target fell down, so it's dirty. I aimed here. And that was a little too low for that particular one. But it looks to me, that's a pretty tight pattern. I'm gonna say that that is probably a full choke. Uh, that is not spread out too wide. So, good to know. That's our pattern for that pattern master for the duck. Now let's try the goose. The Pattern Mastered Code Black for Goose. Same load, same everything. We had to tilt our target back a little bit. The wind is getting bad out here. Here we go. So I'm thinking that is beyond full. That's a pretty tight constriction there. Um, we don't have much in the way of flyers. We've got a couple little flyers out here, but not much. It's, it's pretty tight and, and compact right in here. I was aiming right there at that red dot, and uh, I think it did a great job. This set of Carlson's Cremator Chokes gives you a full and modified choke set. It allows mid-range hunting with a modified choke and long-range hunting beyond 40 yards with a full choke. It is designed for reduced pellet deformation, denser patterns at various ranges, and fewer flyers. It uses graduated steps to incrementally reduce the pattern called triple shot technology. This keeps the pattern more consistent for each shot. Let's see what that looks like. So we've got the Carlson's Cremator now, and it, that comes with two chokes. It comes with a mid-range and a long range. So right now we've got the mid-range, it's a modified choke and uh, we're shooting it at 40 yards, which is kind of this max level. And we'll see what that does. And I put a red dot up there, so hopefully I can find my spot to aim. Wow, a wad hit that one. All right, so I put a red dot this time, aimed right there, and that looks like that was the sweet spot. Look at this right here, if there was a duck in there, He'd be toast. These are the cremators. 
Uh, they are designed to deliver more pellets in that uh, center area. So that did a really nice job. That's a great pattern for 40 yards. Uh, let's see what the long range does at the same distance. All right, this is the tight. I didn't put a dot up there to aim at, but I think I know the spot. I was aiming right about here, so I probably should have been eh, right in here somewhere. It's a very full choke, so it's a pretty tight pattern. You can see the concentration of pellets right in here. Um, so it does shrink that considerably, but if that were at a farther range, if you were shooting at something 50, 60 yards out, then that's gonna open that up for you as you get out there, and it's still gonna have some energy in it and get the job done. Our last specialty choke is the Carlson's Waterfowl Choke Tube for mid-range hunting with steel shot. This one will be fired out of the Benelli Nova since it uses a different thread pattern and won't work in the Super Black Eagle 3. Let's see how it performs. Got a Carlson's Waterfowl Choke Tube. We're going to do a different gun. This is the Benelli Nova. Um, we've got a different thread pattern on there. We talked about that a little bit. So let's see how this performs. This is for duck. I think that's my best shot of the day right there. Um, so I was aiming right there at that, that logo, put everything right where I wanted it to be. Awesome pattern. If that was a duck at 40 yards, he would be a dead duck. I like that one. Nice, that's the Carlson's waterfowl for duck. That's a great choke. Different chokes will be marked either on the side or at the top. They'll have small hash marks or asterisks. The more marks, the tighter the choke. A single mark, like on the Spinelli, signifies that it's a full choke. It also has a single asterisk on the side. These standard chokes are made from a milder steel and are only for lead shot. They shouldn't be used for steel. This extended choke has four marks on the top, telling us that it is an improved cylinder. And it also says on the side that it is approved for steel shot. And the last thing to keep in mind about choosing a choke is that certain chokes can be damaged by using the incorrect ammunition. A slug should never be fired through a choke smaller than an improved cylinder. Some chokes are not designed to be used with flight control wads. Check the packaging of your choke to see if there are warnings or limitations on the ammunition that it can handle. With the right choke, you can better utilize your shotgun for a wide range of activities without getting a different gun or barrel. Chokes further increase the versatility of the already versatile shotgun. Sportsman's Warehouse carries a large selection of different chokes for you to choose from. Check them out, and if you have trouble figuring out what choke is right for you, just ask one of the helpful hunting associates.